everybody, it's easy. Welcome back to the channel. This is the introduction to Clash of Clans, a uh, video on your heroes. In this video, we're going to describe the three heroes in Clash of Clans and give you a brief explanation and some video footage of each one in action. This picture right here is the Barbarian King uh, using his ability. It's called the Iron Fist. Yeah, when he uses it, a bunch of other Barbarians show up and he becomes enraged. I've got a couple pictures before we actually start the videos. This one right here is one we actually made. This is uh, for a different video. This is the Queen Walk. The Archer Queen, once you get her up to level 5, she has the ability called the uh, Royal Cloak. And the Royal Cloak's pretty awesome. She disappears and then a bunch of uh, Archers show up to help defend her. And she increases in power as if she needs any increase in power. And then the last hero is the Grand Warden. You get him at Town Hall 11. And right here, he's using his ability. Uh, this is called the Eternal Tome, and that makes everyone invincible for a short amount of time. He also, just, just by walking around with the troops on offense, or flying around, he can walk or fly. By walking around with the troops, he has this big aura of, uh, of healing. It just heals you a little bit. Anyway, um, all, the he all the heroes come at different Town Hall levels. The King comes at Town Hall 7. The Queen comes at Town Hall 9, and the, and the um, Warden comes on Town Hall 11. They all have unique abilities. Uh, now, the King, he is what we call a tank. He has, uh, he's a tanking specialist. In other words, he is very high hit point. Uh, he's got pretty high damage per second as well, but he's basically the tank of the crew. He, he uh, can withstand a lot of damage when you use his ability. Now all of these abilities come at uh, Town Hall five. I mean, I'm sorry, level five, and then every five levels after that. So when you get to level five, you can up, you can, you'll get your first ability level, and then when you get to level ten, you get your second ability level, and so forth. So as um, and, and also just on that, they increase in power dramatically, going from the first ability level to the second ability level. Now in this video, uh, in this bit of footage that we have playing here, this is an attack that was done by Hawkeye and this right here was a really good example of using the Eternal Tome from the Grand Warden to get into the base and then this is a good, good example also of the, the, the Queen Walk and as this video done by Romper, um, he, he starts off with the Queen Walk. So, I know that uh, most most of you that are watching this video, you, you just downloaded the game, and um, just so you know, this is not my normal voice either. <laughs> I, I don't feel very well today. I'm a little under the weather, but still wanted to keep keep on rolling with the video. So you just suffer through this uh, my voice with me, please. Uh, so anyway, you're not going to get the heroes for a little while, <clears throat> but it's a good it's good for you to know what they all do. To give you something to look forward to, something to fight for. So the Barbarian King will be your first hero you get. You get him at Town Hall Seven. You can max him out at Town at level five on Town Hall Seven. Then once you get to Town Hall Eight, I believe you can go to, to level ten. And you want to max your heroes out. Something I wanted to, to explain to everyone. You know, every video that I do in this introduction, I usually try to make make one major point per video. And the major point I want to make in this video is the game is made to upgrade at every level and then advance to the next level and by upgrade I mean max out upgrade upgrade until you can't upgrade anything anymore now a lot of players choose not to do that because you can tamper with um, your what's called base weight your base weight is how clash um, scales your base and matches you up with opponents a lot of people can tamper with their base weight by not upgrading certain defenses or not upgrading certain like the walls or something but the heroes you want to max them out before you go to the next town hall level the worst mistake you can make is is advancing in town hall level before you upgrade and max out your heroes that get, that makes you weaker to your opponents it makes it harder for you to go and resource hunt max up the heroes if you're on town hall 7 if you want to go to town hall 8 early fine make sure you have a, a level 5 king if you want if you're in town hall 8 and you want to go to town hall 9 early I feel it's a mistake, but make sure that king is level 10. Now, when you get to Town Hall 9, you get the queen. You can get to level 30 on both the king and the queen. That is a very rare thing for people to actually get all the way to level 30. But I, I've seen guys that do it. We have guys in my clan that have done it. 
and they are they make the best transition to Town Hall 10. So if you want to help yourself, max out your, your your heroes, max them out at every Town Hall level. It takes a lot longer, but you'll get more experience in that Town Hall level. You'll be a better player, and everyone you'll appreciate it. Your clanmates will appreciate it. It's the way the game is meant meant to be uh, meant to be played. Uh, something else, I mean, and this is something that's even even rarer than maxing out at level 30 in Town Hall 9 with both your king and your queen is to stay in Town Hall 9 after you've maxed out. Now, if you choose to do that, now we see this with a lot of China clans. You'll see that the whole clan is all maxed out Town Hall 9. They can't upgrade anything, but they're, they're just staying there in Town Hall 9. And they are the hardest clans to beat. They have just perfected this. Their base weight is maxed but yet yeah, they don't you know they they just they're so good because they have everything is maxed out including their heroes so there's no need to rush through this game it's a if you're playing if you're just starting it and you want to max out as a max town hall 11 you can do that in about two years unless you want to spend several thousand dollars by several i mean 10 or 11. <laughs> so if you if you don't want to if you don't if you don't want to play something for several years in advance and have different gameplay as the levels go on you know th there's different challenges as the levels go on then this isn't the game for you but let's get back to the heroes so you have your three heroes you have your king which is your tanking specialist you have your queen she's a damage specialist uh, when you use her ab ability with the royal cloak she gets a big boost in damage per second and she can smash on anything it's unbelievable and finally the warden his ability is this uh eternal tome and the eternal tome it, it may not seem like a you know that's it's the that's the biggest one it's the town hall 11 hero why does he have such a, a minuscule ability he just makes everyone invincible for four or five seconds but if if time's right that is a huge huge thing that you can do so uh, again, we're not going to get into this stuff too much. I just wanted to give everyone uh, a, just a little taste of what you have to come. So uh, I appreciate everyone for watching the video. Stay until the end. Uh, I'm actually making the next video right now. It's, it's on wall breaker fails. Another thing that might be odd, but it's a big part of the game. <laughs> so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks everyone. It's been easy.